Hello. I was literally running. I was swapping out my chairs at, at 11.59 and a half. Phew. Happy Sunday. There, I had to think what day it was. And, as usual, the squirrels are running rampant in the room. I have 647 things on my list today, and I have gotten one done. <laughs> Ta-da! That's how my day is going. How is your day going? <clears throat> but one is better than none, right? Right. I'm waiting for someone to type. You know me. Hey, Lori, thanks. <laughs> I always just want to start yelling. Is this thing on? Hello? Is anybody home? Hi, Nana. Hooray for the one. Hi, Nicole. Hey, Devin. Yes, one thing. <clears throat> And I'll tell you guys in just a few minutes what that one thing is I got accomplished, if you don't already know. I think only one person knows. Unless you've been to my Etsy shop, then you would know. Ha ha. So I thought I would hop on and, hi Lisa. I thought I would hop on and fiddle with this giant lap board for a bit, well, for an hour, and then I'm going to drive you guys over to Aaron Klausner's sale, which starts at one. And here is the link to her sale. And she hasn't had a sale for a little while, I don't think, so it's going to be fun. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Candy. What are you guys doing? I have, our, if you were here yesterday watching um, Squirrel, by the way, I have put five coats. Yes, I put five coats of Mod Podge on here. Um, I started doing a little bit of sanding this morning, and then I figured I would stop and show you guys how I sand. Good morning, Brooke. How was your mini sale? Who else did I miss? Who else snuck in? Did I say hi to Michelle? Hi, Michelle. If I didn't. Drive by. Okay, back to invoicing. I'll see you over at Aaron's in an hour. Yes? Brooke? Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Oh, Eileen snuck in. Hi. Oh, good. I'm glad, Brooke. Okay, I'll see you there for a second. All right, back to work. Back to your corner. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. And Lori B. I always get I always get confused when the Eileen's and Elaine's. I should just call them the E girls. <clears throat> All right. So yes, we know the squirrels running rampant. And I got some giant clips because I like to put um, some kind of a clip on the lap board. So these are giant. This one, albeit um, shiny and silver, it's three inches wide. And the skeleton clip is two inches wide. So I've got to make a decision on that. I was fiddling around last night. And I put some alcohol ink on it. It doesn't look great. <laughs> That's funny, Eileen. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to make a decision on that. So which clip we're going to put on it. That'll be a decision to be had. I have these little clips. And that's it's like an elastic. It's like a metal elastic that a pen could go on. So I need to decide where that's going to go because that's nice to be able to, you know, clip a, have a pen right there. So those will be decisions that need to be had later. <clears throat> and 
What else? Where's Peggy Pockets? She's going to be so happy with me with what I did. Hey, Janine. Peggy Pockets, are you out there lurking? Thanks, Nana. So if you haven't seen this, this is a piece of masonite board, you know, like I used to make my journals. This one in my hand is, what did we say, 12 and a quarter by nine. So that gives you an idea. The one on the table, this the one we're working on, is 14 by 18 and a half. And so normally, if I was making a lap board or a writing board, I would um, just put a single sheet of whatever, you know, card stock or that, that I've purchased or that I printed, um, you know, and just make it one smooth flat surface on both sides and put a skeleton clip with a charm and a pen and, you know, do that. But since this piece was so big, and I don't even know why it was in my cupboard. Anywho, right down a rabbit trail I went with it yesterday. Um, on the other side, I put some of the wood grain, barn wood, whatever you want to call it, contact paper. So I thought, you know, so you could have it on your lap, you know, for writing and have all this beautiful yumminess. Or you wanted to glue or paint or marker or, you know, whatever. This wipes off real good with a baby wipe. Right? So that's where we're at. That is where we're at. And then I was fiddling with the clips. You know, you could put the clip on the side to clip something over here, or clip something, you know, wherever you're working or up here. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So that's where we're at on that. Um, guess what I did? Bam. Bam. I did it. To the Etsy shop. Here's the link, the digi for the mini ledger cover is in the Etsy shop and it is one, one set, three sizes. Um, Peggy Pockets, if you're listening, I forgot to measure the darn thing before I sent it to you. I know this is pretty close. I think it might be a tiny bit too tall. So when you get it, I need to measure it. This is about the size it was. Okay, so I've just made a quick little journal and I'll show that to you guys in a minute. So what do we have? We have seven by two, that's this size. And then this size, which can be printed, you know, on a full sheet. And these are printed on green card, card stock. This one is nine and three quarter by three and three quarter. And the way I did it, it does have almost a half an inch spine. And then this set right here is made to be able to do, who took my journals? Where are they? Mm -hmm. There's one. This set here is made to be able to do this right, and give it any color of spine you want. And I left this side a little bit bigger so that you can, you know, shift this wherever you want on top of your board. And you can put your spine fabric right down this edge so that you still get the, that printout, right? Does that make sense? Hi, Tanya. Let's see, did I miss anything? Oh, cool, Lori. Oh, it's okay, Tanya. Uh, I know, I saw your message, and then I walked in the other room, and I was getting ready to answer you, and then I saw your next message, and I'm like, it's fine. I do it every time, too. Don't worry. It's all good. And I, I think I did refund you a shipping overage as well, my dear. <laughs> it's all good. All right. So, oh, here's my little tiny... I, this was quick. This is nothing fancy, but I just wanted to show you guys. I just did one quick stitch down the edge. I printed it on um, cream cardstock, and then I used some rice paper on the inside. And I forgot to shut my curtain. 
it gives a funny glare. There we go. Carrie's swearing at us already. Yeah, I'll make some of these. Oops, there we go. And so I just cut out some pages, you know, real quick, just a real quick little itty bitty guy. I think I'll be making some of these to put in. Oops, glued that shut. There's the center with the postage stamp. Right? So just all of the cute little things. But I think I'll be making some of these to tuck in journals. That'll be fun, right? And there's the back with a little... Oh, be... good morning, Pam. I know it's early for you. Um, Pam, let me know when you have a chance to print what I emailed you this morning. And if anyone purchases this while we're here and you are able, I just listed it, and you're able to print it, let me know that it prints okay for you. I'm always scared when I put up a new digi. Oh, it would, Lisa. You're right. Yeah, little grocery, a little grocery getter. We'll call it the little grocery getter. Thank you, Pam. And Pam's doing a trial run on the. I'll, hang on, I'll print it out and show you guys. As soon as I get the all clear on Pam from this one. Let me print it and I'll show you the, the next digi that I'm working on. A to do list, perfect, Tanya. So I wanted to show you guys the difference. There's not a lot of difference, there's a little, and you're really not gonna be able to tell on camera. This is on cream cardstock, this is on white. So when you, I think when you print it on cream, it makes it a little bit richer of a color, but when you print it on white, you can see the difference in the, this is a little grungier, this is a, is a little more teal. Good morning, Erin. So, but I generally print on cream just so that I don't have white in case, you know, I don't put anything on the other side, but that's just my preference. So that's, if you get it and you print it, this is what you would get. You would get a front and back for doing a full size journal like I would do. You're gonna get a mini, which is like this little guy. And then you're gonna get a full size sheet, which is this one. Okay, okay. Hi, Sharon. Oh, she's working. Yeah, hi, Carla. All right, so there's that. You attach the board, you attach it to the board you sell. Is that correct? I don't understand the question, Tanya. Attach, what are we talking about? Are we talking about journals? Are we talking about the writing board? What are we talking about? See, here's, this is my, this is a journal made with this digi. Bam. It's in the Etsy shop. This is the um, Faith and Hope Blessed Journal. If anybody's looking for a Faith and Hope Blessed Journal, it's in the Etsy shop. Okay, what else before we get going on this? Those hard boards, you print and attach them to make the cover story. Well, the cut, I mean, this, this is, this is what I use to make my journals, Masonite board from Home Depot or Lowe's. So it's our, this is already sturdy. What weight cardstock do I print on, Eileen? Whatever is on sale at Hobby Lobby. And I don't think I have any in the packaging. No, oh wait, I do, hold on. Let's see if it has a weight on it. I print on all different weights, um, but, but if you use a thin weight cardstock, Oh, no, it doesn't. Of course, it doesn't have the weight on it. Why would it? It would be too easy. Paper Studio. This is just some craft, but yep, no clue. Um, if you use a real lightweight cardstock, you have to be careful 
when you're um, putting it down and sealing it or it, it'll bubble up on you. Did I miss saying hi to anybody? Maybe Eileen, I'll, the next time I buy some, I will um, save the packaging and get back to you on that. Uh, what else? Let's see, what else can I, updates can I give you before we start working on this? Um, the 40% off sale is still going on in the Etsy shop. I think there are only four of the book binding kits left and they are priced for less than I paid. So just so you guys know, get them while they're hot. And there are still some of the jelly print magazine pull background packs. I think those are $9. And these are originals. These are not copies. I, you, honestly, I don't think you could copy and sell. I don't know. Anyway, we're not going to get into that. So there's still a few sets of these. I think they are 10 piece sets, if I remember correctly. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. And then the last thing is there are only two different, there's two of two different pouches left in the Etsy shop. And this is it. I will never, ever be selling them again. And then there is quite a few, maybe 20 of the key fobs left. And they are also, I think they're $3.90, right? I love, I love these. And they swivel. And that does open and shut. I, I don't. I have a husband with a saw, Carrie. But I, I also have it in my Etsy shop for $3 a set. And if you are going to buy it, because it's a little bit heavy, if you guys are going to buy boards, hurry, go get one, Candy, 40% off. Quickly, quickly, there's only two left. Only two left. So there's two. There's two of this one and two of this one. This one's about an inch or so bigger. Okay. <laughs> Good answer, she says. Uh, what else? All the digis are on sale, of course. There's two journals in the shop. There. I think I got all the laundry out of the way. All right. What else is on my list today? We're going to play with this for a little bit. And then when I end this stream and go over to Aaron's, I'm going to reach out to the people. I completely forgot to do it yesterday. Reach out to the people for the Etsy and YouTube hop tomorrow. That will be every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern on my channel. If you haven't seen one, go back and watch one. They're really fun. And Johnny, how do you cut that? Okay, I got that. Mm -hmm. Making sure I'm not missing anything. And then for those of you that just got here, in 40 minutes, we are going over to Erin Klausner's. She's having a sale. There's her link. I will put it in a few times before I'm done. <clears throat> what else? Is that it? Okay. Good, great. Now let's fiddle. Shall we fiddle? How many people are here? 33? Okay, good. All right. So, like I said, I have put... I think five, it may, may be six coats of Mod Podge on this. And I mean, it's not, you know, completely flat, but I've got a lot of the, you know, I'm never going to get it completely level. Oh, dang, bum it. I thought I was all straight. I was going to get you the link for my little sander. That, doesn't that happen every time, Aaron? That cool. Hi, Roy. Thanks, Carrie. All right, let me go get you guys the link for my little sander because everybody was asking yesterday and I didn't have it. And I can't remember what it's called, oh boy. Please hold while we wait for Amazon to load.
searching my orders. Hang on, guys. It might take me. Oh, is that it? No, that one's $30. It's definitely not it. <laughs> no. Oh, I can't even remember who makes it. I might have to run out and ask my husband. I don't have any idea what a master board is. Does anybody know? Oh, bugger. All right. Well, I will find I will find this. I'm not going to spend 20 minutes searching right now. I will I will find the link and get it to you guys when this is when this is done and I show it next, I'll have the link for this, okay? <laughs> Hi, Anita. Excuse me. A master board is something you can cut up. Interesting. I've never heard of it. What? Cut it up for what? Anita, did your blue blue bags come yet? Micro zip sander. Look at you. Hang on. I'm going. I'm going back. You guys are great. Bam, there it is. Bam. Let's see if, let's see if the link is gonna be 700. Oh, it, it let me put it in. There we go. The master boards I've seen are just large collages and they cut up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Oh, good, Candy. I asked if your um, last order, the, the big and the small blue bags, if they came yet, Anita. Oh, you like the lady up there? So you can see how it's, it, hang on, let me see if I see, like, can you see how that looks a little bit dull because I've sanded it? Let's see if I can get a good angle that you can kind of see where the shiny and dull, shiny and dull on her face. Um, same thing here. You see those spots where it's shiny and dull? Hi, CB. So that's because I've been sanding it. And this is a very fine, very fine. Literally, I just literally go like this. And then I rub my hand across and I feel for, you know, cause with like Mod Podge, you know, you can get clumps. She has combination skin. Hi, Christine. But see like right here I feel, but I can feel the doily is raised. And I, I don't want to sand that too much because I, I know that I've got the music paper here and then I've got that doily on there. And so, you know, I'm not going to get that completely flat, but I sanded on it quite a bit this morning, but I just wanted you guys to see that, you know, by lightly going over it. And then it's probably going to get two more coats of Mod Podge before I take it outside and give it two or three coats of the clear matte spray sealer. Hi, Kim. If you guys don't know South Pod, that's Kim. And then I just keep, you know, a little bit of sand in and watching to make sure. That's gonna bug me. 
that I get like right there. Now I've almost got a raw edge. You guys probably can't see it now, but I can tell there's no more glue left there. And I know it's because this was a thicker piece of paper. And so it doesn't have as much coverage as say this does. Thanks, Carla. Um, what was I just gonna tell you guys? Day gummit. Let me, let me sand for a minute more and maybe I'll remember. Right, go back to what you were doing and you might remember. Isn't that the trick? But these are really time consuming, even the small ones, because, you know, put down a layer of sealer, let it dry, sand it, put down another layer, you know, like kind of like furniture almost. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. See? Ta-da! I told you guys I would show you. I'm looking for a spot. That might that's kind of bubbled up, where I might not have had enough glue. Um, that spot might work. Let's see if you guys can even see it. Where is it? Hold on, hold on. Nobody move. I'm gonna have to put my finger on it. And there. I don't even know if you guys can tell. We can't. All right. We need to find. We need to find a big bubble. I did too good of work. It's just a crease. I don't really have any bubbles. Well, I'll just show you. I'll just show you what you do if you have a bubble. You get your heat gun. You get a brayer. and you get a piece of wax paper. Don't try and use your finger because when you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the spot up and when you heat it up, it kind of reactivates the glue and if you push it with your finger, you're gonna leave a fingerprint. Lisa, Amazon, here comes the link. Boom. You can get them at um, Home Depot or Lowe's also. Mod Podge, make it sticky or does it? No, it's a, no. I live in Florida. And as long as you, you just put a, lay, a coat down, let it dry for a couple hours, come back, lightly sand it and put another coat. It's not sticky. But then this, the sealer, where did it go? Yeah, the, the, this, the, this, the clear matte sealer, that does help it from, you know, reactivating in heat or anything. Yes. Okay, so where did that kind of bubble go? Right here. It's right here. So here's what I'm going to do. Turn on the heat gun. Plug your ears. Eileen, we'll talk. You heat it up. And you can, usually you can see it kind of start to lay back down. Good. Okay. Getting hot. You got to do this quick. As soon as you turn off that gun, put the wax paper down, hit it with the brayer, and it is now it's all flat. Bubble gone. Bubble gone. Ta da. And that's it. That's it. And I did that about 20 times last night, getting bubbles out. And that works with anything. So, Eileen, what do you use it on? Tell me what you use it on. And I'm just going to keep on keeping on here while we chat. And I'm not putting any pressure hardly at all because I don't want, you know, I don't want to, if I, if I sanded through the glue, I don't want to rip the paper. But if you do rip the paper, I have an easy fix for that. It stays sticky in Michigan. Not, well, tell me what you use it on, Kim. 
those of you that see, and I say the same thing about um, art glitter glue. Don't even, uh uh, I can't with the art glitter glue. It's absolutely useless to me. I can't. <laughs> Thanks, Anita. I've had a, about eight people email me and ask me how much is this going to be, and I don't have a clue. I don't use it other than my best one. That's too bad, Eileen. I'm sorry. Right, Sharon? Hi, Tammy. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. It is going to be for sale. This is, I really, I struggle with pricing stuff like this. So I don't know. We might have to have a auction one day just for this one thing. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I haven't a clue. Two million? Is that too much? I was going to sign it because I never signed anything. I was going to sign it right here. And then I can't sign it now that I've got sealer on it. I used it on a journal page collage or something like that. Huh? Interesting, Kim. Um, yes, Devin. It is, but then I have to remember, A, why I do this. I do it because I love it, and I do this to make a living. <laughs> so if, if the things sit on the shelf, then I can't make groceries in the cupboard. It's kind of, you know, or, you know, the repo man will come for the car if the car payment doesn't get made. I mean, you just kind of have to put things in perspective, right? Oh, well, let's, where's, where's the Mod Podge bottle? Who moved it? Who done it? Oh, I had one yesterday. Oh, boy. Okay, tiny letters. I see. Sell or don't, right. Yeah, exactly, Devin. All right, let me see if this, what it says. Oh boy. All right, there's a lot. If you're just going to use it for glue, if you're going to use it for a sealer, if you want to use it for a quick finish, if you want to use it for puzzle saver. And I can't really see all those little tiny words from here. So you guys are on your own to read the back of the bottle. <laughs> How about that? How about that? And if you just got here, I'm going to put it in again in. 26 minutes we're going over to Erin Klausner. She's having a sale today. All right, so let me get, I'm going to go ahead and I think, hold on, I got to look at it in the light. You guys are getting a close up view. Like, I want to make sure I don't have any edges that are starting to lift. But okay, here's my tip before I put some more glue on it. Say you were sanding along and you sanded, well, look, maybe right there in the butterfly, you can do that. You sanded a little too much. If you take this kind of ink guy, get a little ink on it. I'm gonna hold this up close so you guys can see it real quick. Can you see on the butterfly See right there where there's white and right there where there's white. Well, he's really, you know, high up off of there. So if I just carefully take the corner of this where I have the ink and hit those white spots with that ink, it's not white in a mole. And now I can seal that and remind myself to be very careful sanding that next time. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. And the next time that I do one of these, I'm going to be really careful and not use anything that has any kind of a copyright so that I can scan it. 
this one has many things, um, many, like this is a Nick the Booksmith thing. This is rice paper. Um, this is from the old design shop, but she probably wouldn't mind if I scanned it. This is the Prima redesign, um, that linen decoupage paper. This, 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 and this are all that. That was that stamp that I got from Shannon Green. And so I don't know if there's a copyright on that. Mm, this was a sheet of number labels from the old design shop. So there's a few things on here. And like this music page, I don't know if it's out of copyright. So, hey, Jersey, what you doing on your way to soccer? Thanks, Jersey. Don't forget about Aaron's sale in 23 minutes, Jersey. So anyway, so that's, that's that. And all of the stamps that I used here, here, these number stamps we enabled for these yesterday. We did find them on Amazon. If you're looking, check yesterday's video for the link. All right, I need to glue. I need wax paper. <clears throat> Where's Aaron's sale is right there. That's where Aaron's sale is. And I'm going to need to buy myself a new one of these brushes. I'll show you guys. Okay, Jersey, cool. Uno un momento. Pam. Bless you, my dear. And thank you. That makes me happy, my sweet, sweet, sweet lady. All right. Oh, it's his first travel team game. Cool. So if you haven't seen these, they're a little pricey. Um, I suggest seeing if they have them at Michael's or Joanne's and using a coupon. All right. Because I want to say they're like... 16 or 20 bucks somewhere in there. And to me, that's pricey. And this guy's been in the plastic baggie all night. But it is great for projects like this because, you know, you can get a good clean swipe. What I miss. Someone did buy my faith journal. That's what I was just, I just looked down and saw that. Do they, Carla? Yeah, so just look um, for Mod Pod brushes. And mine is a little loose. Maybe I can pinch it with, sometimes I forget and leave it in water too long. Anyway, here we go. So I just slop some down. And then the first thing I do is the edges. Oh, we got a glop. A glop. No glopping. Glopping allowed. I slop it down and then I hit those edges where I'm at first um, because it's easy to miss them, especially if you got a bunch of different colors going on like I do. And then I just need to get it spread out so it's fairly thin because if you just leave a glop that's how you're going to get bubbles glop glop is glop a word maybe glop the word of the day maybe <laughs> <coughs> what you doing Juanita man I move it in the light and I can see you know, I look for any dry spots. If you hold it just right in the light, you can see if you've got any dry spots. And then I just keep working my way. So 
and I'll run it both ways, sideways, you know, just so I <clears throat> try and get everything completely covered every time, right? Mod Podge Brush 1019 on Amazon Prime. Sweet. There you go. I should go get myself another one right now. Um, somebody should, if not should, if somebody could check <clears throat> Michael's or Joanne's website, see how much they are and see if it would be cheaper with the coupon or not. This is always a hard part when you get to the end where you don't have anything to hang on to. It's where I get a little bit challenged. That's why I try to start from opposite ends each time. And this is where I get a little gluey. All right, let me see. And then I play the game of holding up to the light. If I see any spots that aren't shiny, or I find a glop, like right there. Oh, and my husband's not realizing that I'm live. He just came in here hollering about something. <laughs> he doesn't remember. I was standing next to him and said, I'm going live for an hour. <clears throat> he doesn't hear me. He doesn't listen. <clears throat> Where did you find the key on your bird? Oh, oh. I'll show you, Pam. Hold on. Let me finish this last bit of glop. This key right here, that's not a stamp actually. Okay, let's put this guy away. <laughs> Did you see? I am going to cook it. Right, Bonnie, and hi, Bonnie. $14.99 at Michael's, so yeah, if you use your coupon. Right, where did I put? No, oh, no. I showed you guys that paper. Yes, there it is. Okay. If anybody sees me set something down, yell. Yell at me. Pam, it's this. This is called Redesign. It's, ooh. Goodness, it's made by Prima. And I don't know how to explain what this is. It's not rice paper. It's got a pretty thick weave to it. Um, they're kind of pricey. I mean, this is just one sheet. I cut the key and stuff off of this end. If you just go to Amazon and type in redesign, all one word, no hyphen, R-E-D-E-S-I-G-N, by Prima, a whole bunch of different patterns will come up. Hobby Lobby only has a small, yeah. Yeah, I think I've only seen them at Joann's and Michael's. All right, so while, while I still have 15 minutes to kill, let's talk about clips. I got these and I thought I liked them for this purpose, but now that more I think about it, I don't know if I like, you know, that it's round on the back, so it would kind of sit funny like that. I think I'll probably just go with the giant skeleton clip, right? And then this guy. So maybe, well, not tomorrow, because tomorrow's the Etsy slash YouTube hop. But maybe Tuesday I'll come on and finish this up. And you can hit it with your heat gun, you know, if you want to get things to move along a little faster. Um, but you, even if you hit it with the heat gun, you still need to leave it be for about an hour. Okay, Lisa, you take a clip on Amazon. You can get all sizes and colors. Hi, Debbie Howard. This is, this is really, this is large. It's a two inch. That'll go on there. That'll go on there. And then I don't think I usually put um, an eye, a hole with an eyelet and hang a charm. Oh, there's another glop. I don't think I'm going to do that on this. If I do any kind of a charm, I'll probably just hang it off of the clip. 
Oh, that sounds good, Juanita. That sounds very good. Uh, what else? So, and I do have a bunch of my regular size boards cut right now. So in my free time, I will also get busy on making some um, actual writing boards for your journals. Thanks, Debbie. So raise your hand if you're going to Aaron's sale. In 13 minutes, me, I'm going. And I'm going to shoot out some emails to those on the wait list for the Etsy hop because I completely forgot to do it at all this week, let alone yesterday when I had written myself a note. Me, 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 look at, look at, look at everybody. Come over here, yay. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I think Aaron, Aaron, did I tell you tomorrow? Aaron, if you're here, I think Aaron's going to be on the Etsy hop, but not for Etsy, for YouTube. We're going to, I think I'm bringing her on tomorrow. She'll be last because we're going to try and get her to a thousand subbies. Yep, we are. Let me go look and see where she's at. If you're not subscribed to Aaron, if you, and if you, even if you're not going to go to her sale today, if you would be so kind as to go over to her channel, she has 767 subscribers. <laughs> Jersey. <laughs> There's her link. You catch an Uber? Okay, Roy. I can double back so that you don't have to pay, Roy. I don't mind doubling back for you. <laughs> All right, give me one second here. So it's not going to be as flat, you know, like a normal one, but let me try. No, the other side is flat, 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 you know, for writing and crafting. So I think this side's going to be more of just the gorgeousness factor. Is that a word? Gorgeousness? Yeah. So there's that. I want to touch it, but I can't touch it now. It's wet. What was I thinking? Thanks, Jersey. Roy's having deja vu. Is it just one game, Laura, or are they playing multiple games? Yeah, we're going to get Aaron there tomorrow. Or we're going to give it a darn good try. Aw, she's already got two jealous people? You go, girl. You're my hero. <laughs> you guys do not want to get me on the thumbs down soapbox. All right, if you just got here and you don't know... Where is my Peggy Pockets? I did it. I got the Digi done. And it's, it's a set of three different sizes. This, what did I say? It was two by seven. And I'll show that again in a minute for those folks that weren't here. This is a full page, almost full page. This one is, is nine and three quarter by three and three quarter. And that's with giving it a half inch spine. And these are just printed out on um, the cream card stock. And then you also get these two pages for making this type of a journal. This one has a grungy green spine. Yep, you're right, Carla. And here's the back, and it's got a little bookmaker's label on it. And this one just got a new home. Yep, it did. This one's going to Pam's house. Thank you, Pam. So, that's in the Etsy shop. That digi. So here, let me, let, oh, I got to show that to you. 
So the set includes front and back, and then there's the tiny, and then there's the tall. And I'm going to make some, um, I'm going to start doing some of the regular journals with rounded corners, the hardcover. Yeah, yeah, I am. Thanks, Kristen. You have no cream, Carm stock? Just get some from Amazon. It's kind of expensive on Amazon, though. Copy. Here's my Etsy shop link. If you don't know how to go down to the, well, maybe the description box below. And now my, there we go. My wheel was spinning like I was playing a slot machine. So I just threw this tiny guy together really quick so I could show you. I just did one quick stitch. So there's the the uh, wax linen. And I put, I used rice paper. There we go. Because I had printed this out on white. So I just mob podged some rice paper in there. Doesn't that look cool? And then I just cut out some little tiny pages. I put some little, that's probably upside down with my look. Thanks, Anita. Hi, Sharon Marlo. And there's the center with the postage stamps hanging. And it's just got all the itty bitty bits. Put a tiny little pocket back here. I know, I can't remember. Um, it was Cheryl, I can't think of her last name. Julie, if you're watching by chance, tell me Cheryl's last name. I can never remember her last name. <clears throat> and there's the back. So that digi is in the Etsy shop. And then I, I'll have another digi coming, I'll say this week. Um, I wanted, I wasn't ready to, quite ready to put it up yet. So I've got somebody giving it a trial run. Bam. <laughs> Get busy. I'm just kidding. Yeah, and I don't know, I may end up having to edit this. I sent this little guy to Peggy Pockets and I didn't measure it before it left my hands. Um, so I need her to measure it and tell me the actual original size. I'm close. I might be off a little bit. So later day day. Okay. Thanks, Pam. Oh, I printed it. That's what I was going to show you guys. How much time do we have? Six minutes before we're going to Aaron. So this is the one that I'm working on now. And I can't remember the copyright on this book. Um, so here's what the, if it was in book style form, Here's what it would look like. And Pam, you remember how we made the covers for those um, Victorian photo albums? And we put the covers underneath the spine. I mean, the, the spine underneath the covers. You know, when we glued the top piece down so that we could have the spine that we wanted. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking with this about, but I don't know if I could alter it enough so we could print it on fabric because if we did, we'd have to roll over the edge and we would lose this. You know what I mean? So there's that. But I took it apart for front and back so that you could use it to make a journal like this. And now I'm still fiddling with how we could use the spine. I love that it was $1.50. I don't know how to work Instagram. Somebody needs to really give me a lesson, really truly. So this will be the next one coming up. This everyday cookbook and family, and I can't see that word right, compendi, compendi, anyway. But what's cool about this green and any color, <clears throat> if you don't know, here, let me give you an example, is when you hit it with, can you see the difference? In, there we go. Okay. This in my hand, this paper in my hand is the exact same thing as I printed it 
and is here. <clears throat> but do you see after it's sealed, how it brightens up the color? So the same thing will happen with this. If you were to make a book in this fashion, it will bring, it'll brighten up the green and it will also bring out, I know it's hard to see on here where you could almost see the weave of that fabric. Yeah, it looks richer, right. It makes it look much richer, <clears throat> for sure. IG is the easiest. Oh, okay, Nana, well, you can give me a, a, an IG lesson one day. All right, let me get Aaron's link. It's almost time. It's almost time. It's three minutes. Yeah, it's a Mod Podge makes a huge difference when you're sealing something. Yeah, it really makes a color pop. Okay, if you're going to print it out and adhere it to chipboard, let me give you a bit of advice so that it doesn't warp, Eileen. Um, whatever you print it out on, so if you print it out on cardstock or you print it out on paper, you're going to want to do the same thing on the inside. Use the same type on the inside of the piece of chipboard, right? So you're going to exact same paper, whatever you put on it. You know, so if it's cardstock, cardstock. If it's printer paper, printer paper, whatever. And then you shouldn't get much warpage. Um, when it's about three quarters dry, you can also wrap it in some wax paper and stick it in a dictionary so it can finish drying like that. Okay, Pam, you take care, hon. I'll, and I will talk to you soon. All right, two minutes. Okay, Sharon. I do that all the time. Yeah. Yep. Me too, Eileen. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, and if you guys are ever looking for um, a really heavy duty chipboard, show you. And again, it's not cheap, so I buy them when they're half off. Um, this is what I use for my spines, right? There's only two pieces to the pack. At Hobby Lobby, they're three ninety nine. So I always. Um, Use a coupon. And it's it's called Designer Book Board. It's made by Cinch. And they're eight and a half by eleven chipboard sheets. Hang on, I know I have one open, so I can show you the thickness. Somewhere. There we go. All right. So here's an example for you. This was just something left over from some packaging. Oh, we got one minute. You guys see the difference in thickness? This is much thicker and much sturdier. This would also be great if you wanted to make a book from scratch. I mean, it's, you know, it's got some bend to it, but it's pretty sturdy. The other thing you can do before you, before you um, Mod Podge something to chipboard is give it two coats of this matte clear sealer on both sides. It'll seal it so that the Mod Podge doesn't soak all the way in for the warpage. Cheap chipboard on Amazon, yep. And this, a can of this will last forever. Clear matte, clear matte. Spray it first, then mop pods over that. Okay, that's it. That's it for my pro tips today. That's it for <laughs> shop sharing. It's time to go to Aaron's gang. So go check out the Etsy shop. There's only a few things left at 40% off. They're almost all gone. I will see you guys all tomorrow here, 2 p.m. Eastern for the Etsy and YouTube hop. Here's Aaron's link. Everybody in, because we are going over. And if you have any questions or need anything, just email me. My email is in the description box below. Bye, guys. <laughs>